Imagine. Madison, I just came up in here and I just started barking like. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot y'all don't know me like this. It's kind of dark in here. I don't think I have an intro to this channel, but yo, it's Caillou. You already know who it is. This style of video is going to be a little bit different. This setup is not my usual setup. I'm not at my house. I have a bunch of um things connected. Sorry if you can hear the moving of the mic. This is my um the only good mic setup that I have without using it wirelessly. I would use it wirelessly, but I have to pay attention to uh, what I'm doing and how it sounds and stuff like that. So please forgive me if the audio sounds like poop, like that. Um, but yeah, this video is going to be about me uh, building my PC now. Fair warning, this is temporary. Do not, please, do not roast me on this setup. I know it's mid. I know there's going to be a few things that you don't like that are not going to be to your liking. But you got to realize. I'm broke. <laughs> you guys can see me a lot more clearly now. And I think I can turn... Nope, it just goes down to... Yeah, I'm just gonna have to deal with that exposure in the background being too being too bright. Um, once again, please bear with me because I do not have much or any space at all. Um, as you can see, the, <laughs> the vid is right there. Usually, I have a whole dedicated room for this type of stuff. And don't don't look at that camo management. That that's pretty ugly. I have this whole arsenal of parts right here. Um, most of the stuff is pretty high end, uh, besides a couple of things, I think. And uh, I really don't know how to do this video. Not gonna lie to you. I feel like I'm. I feel like I. I've, 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 I've. Let's get started with the case. Starting off with the case, we have the beautiful H9 Flow. Not sure how well you guys can see this. And yes, I am kneeling on the floor. Pause. Um, we have the beautiful H9, H9 Flow case. Uh, this was bought most of this. I think everything here was pretty much bought at um. Micro Center. I'm gonna try and do this. Mm, no, not gonna do this with one hand. I'm sure you guys seen this lovely case multiple times already in multiple YouTube videos. So I'm not gonna give you uh, an overview. I'm not going to give you anything crazy. I'm um, just going to show you a quick, I'm looking here and you guys are here. My bad. I'm just going to give you a quick rundown. This is the H9 Flow. Uh, beautiful case design. It has a little bit of uh, marks and stuff on my glass, but I got some, I got some glass. You need it for that. Um, it's an ATX, micro ATX and ITX case. Uh, full size power supply. It comes with uh, four fans, three intakes and an exhaust. Um, I'm not a nerd, so I, <laughs> uh, and that's about it. I just know it's a gigantic case. Like this thing, when you see this thing in YouTube videos, it looks like it's small or decent sized, but in real life, this is a very big case. Um, so yeah, start off, we got the case. I'm going to take it apart. And we're gonna get to work. Sorry if this is kind of dragged or long or unorganized, but I'm trying my best with the space that I have because I want to bring out a video for you guys.
I'm just coming like a CD. Recap, it is now <laughs> 2 a.m. And I didn't realize the dilemma. Hope it focuses. Didn't realize the dilemma that I was going through when I first started the build. So let me enlighten you a little bit. This build, the new PC, was supposed to go into the y height Y60 because I'm running a dual PC setup. And what I was going to do was buy a capture card which goes into the PCIe slot um, so that I can stream on a dual PC and I installed the new system which is my gaming PC in the H9 flow which is incorrect because 
if the stream PC needs a second PCIe slot, it cannot be inside of the height Y60 because of the vertical riser. Now, you might be saying, oh, you could get a smaller vertical riser. I don't want to do that. You know how much work? You know how much work it is just to, just to like find another one and then do all that all over again? I could get a smaller vertical riser, but that's it's too much work. So I did even more work and I swapped both motherboards and um, it's 2 a.m. So I'm going to try to get this done. I'm going to start the computers up. I'm probably going to go to sleep around like 4, something like that. It's the weekend, so I don't really care. Um, and uh, I'll probably try to stream for you guys tomorrow. But uh, I'll update you when everything else is done. The last thing I got to do is just put the um, put the power supply in and route all of the cables. And that's about it. But it's looking, uh, it's looking pretty promising. I'm sorry if this isn't a fabulous... Um, video but uh this is what we got so give me like two seconds and i'll be back finally the moment of truth This is uh, basically what I stayed up all night for. The time is currently 4.06 a.m. And uh, I've had enough of this. <laughs> so let's cross our fingers. And let's hope I did everything correctly. smoothly without fail may you please bless this pc and allow it to have many cycles of its life and be long lasting and make me and many of the people very wealthy give us all beautiful opportunities beautiful memories and most importantly give us an outlet to share your word your will. Thank you, Lord, for hearing me. Thank you, Lord, for holding my hand. And thank you, Lord, for loving me. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, boys and girls, this is it. I'm going to do the honors. Um, let me peel this stuff off, though. Sorry you can't get the satisfying peel. I'm too tired. tired and I'm over this PC so sorry if you missed the satisfying peel or if you wanted to see it but without further ado actually should I change my lens I might change the lens give me one second please work nice I don't like the fact that you can see the divider 